Welcome to the Beverly Hills Plastic Surgery Podcast. I'm Dr. Jay Calvert, and today here with my uh, faithful co-host, Dr. Millicent Ravello. How are you doing, Dr. Ravello? Easy for me to say. (laughs) I'm good. How are you? I'm good. We have a big topic to talk about today. We do. We have, well, I'll let you introduce it because it's sort of your deal. What are we doing? my deal? (laughs) Cocaine nose is my deal? Well, it is my deal. I I fixed it. You just gave away the punchline. (laughs) (laughs) No, I thought you meant like... Because it's your deal. Like, that <laughs> you kinda, is not my deal. You kind of know a lot about this. <laughs> no, Cocaine knows topic. Oh, boy. Yeah, it's a big one. It's a big one. Yeah, this is something that we definitely see a fair amount. Um, and it comes with a very specific subset of problems that require a very specific subset of treatment options. Um, and it's very real. It's, it's oh, not yeah. like this like super rare thing that happens. Like It happens. It's on the rise lately. Cocaine has made a huge comeback in the Los Angeles area anyway. I don't know about the rest of the world, but I mean, I'm seeing more people with this problem. You know, I think, I feel like like cocaine definitely had a moment in the 80s, and then it never really went away. And then it was like really popular for a long time, like in the early 2000s, especially probably bigger cities, but definitely here in LA. But I feel like the whole like fentanyl epidemic thing has kind of put a damper in the cocaine use yes. because you just don't know what you're getting anymore. So like people have less of an appetite for the street drugs because you don't know what's in them. Yeah. I mean, I've, I've had some people say, Oh, I was going to you know buy this or buy that, but I'm just worried about fentanyl. So I didn't do it. Totally. And I'm like, well, I don't buy drugs illegally, <laughs> so I don't really think about that. But I guess if I did, I would think you about that. You would have to think about that. Yeah. And it's so silly because, like, why would you put fentanyl in cocaine? Like, they're opposite. Like, cocaine speeds you up. Fentanyl brings you down. But people are putting fentanyl in everything. So you just can't trust what you're getting anymore. So maybe we'll see less of a cocaine nose thing. But maybe we're seeing more of it because cocaine noses take a while to build over time. So maybe everybody that was like super into it in the early 2000s is now experiencing the effects. So the reason this is a topic is because cocaine is a vasoconstrictive agent, which means that it clamps off blood vessels by the nature of its medical action. It basically gets the blood vessels to contract so much so that the blood doesn't flow through them. Right. That's part of its mechanism of action. And in general, when you're doing cocaine, you snort it through your nose. That's the main vehicle of entry into your body. So you're getting this huge hit of a vasoconstrictor inside of your nose. And what that does is it pinches off the blood vessels. Which are very tiny to begin with. And they don't. And so not having blood flow to the structures of your nose. So like. Let's take an example. If you found somebody on the ground and you felt their pulse and they had no pulse and they had no blood flow through their body, you would say that they are dead. Dead. So if you have no blood flow (laughs) through your nose and through the septum and the structures of the nose, they are dead. dead. Yeah. So with dead structures, things start to rot off. They do. But... They don't, doesn't happen right away. No. Like, it's not like you do the cocaine, you have the vasoconstriction effect. It's not, I mean, the, depending on how long you're doing cocaine for. Like, it's pretty short acting. So maybe you're doing it for a night or whatever. But, like, the next day, you're not doing it anymore. And the vasoconstriction effect has worn off. And if you've done this intermittently here or there a few times over the course of your life, not a big deal. Hang on. For my kids, your nose will fall <laughs> off if you do cocaine. The okay? first time. Yeah, just <laughs> right for, away. For my kids, <laughs> the second you do cocaine, your nose is going to rot off. It's going to die, and you're going to need a full reconstruction. So don't do cocaine. Don't do cocaine. Okay. But now but, we can but, talk about what actually but happens. But for everyone else. <laughs> but like for reals. Um, but it is the people who do a lot of cocaine over a long period of time. Correct me if I'm wrong. Typically, right? I I will tell you that I have seen people who get so addicted, and and I I think of one case in in my head of a 22-year-old college student, which, by the way, I don't know where she's getting the money for this, because, like, she probably put half a million dollars up her nose to do this to her nose, and, like, she snorted her nose off, and, you know, it does take time. Typically, 